Welcome learners to the first unit of the course Organization Change and Development. My name is Chayanika Senapati and I am from Maniram Devan School of Management, Krishnakanta Hundikoi State of University. So after going through this unit, you will be able to discuss the concept of organization development, its meaning, its definition. Also, you'll be able to know about the history of organization development, its relevance and uh, the characteristic of organization development with few uh, assumptions of organization development. So this is the first unit of the course, Organization Change and Development, and the name of the unit is Organization Development. This video session has been divided into two parts. The first part, uh, we shall discuss about concept of organization development, its meaning and definition. We'll discuss about the history of organization development, and also we'll discuss about the relevance of organization development. And in the second part, we shall discuss about the characteristic of organization development and the assumptions of organization development. So dear learners, we all know that organizations are dynamic entities. You know, they continuously interact with the external environment. And change in government legislations, customer attitudes and preferences, the technological changes, etc., uh, you know, has been a cause uh, an organization to change. So in order to survive in this competitive world, an organization must be able to cope up with the accelerating uh, rate of change that we see in our environment. The managers of today's world must not only be flexible, but they should be adaptive in the changing environment. And also, they should be able to, you know, diagnose the problems faced by the organization and then implement the changes, the changes program that, you know, that is fruitful for the organization. The degree of change may vary from organization to organization. Because change is occurring so fast, there is a need to find new ways to manage change. And when we talk about organizational development, it is a planned process which helps an organization to adapt to these changes, both the external and the internal. And organizational development not only helps in improving the effectiveness of the organization, but also in developing the individuals and as well as groups in an organization. So let's now discuss about the meaning and some of the definitions given by scholars. So organization development is a strategy to improve an organization or make it better. So it is a planned and systematic process that tries to make an organization better and helps it in achieving its short term as well as long term objectives. It is achieved by teaching the organization members it employs to you know, manage their organization process and culture more effectively. When we talk about definitions, according to Benis, organization development is a response to change, a complex educational strategy intended to change the beliefs, the attitudes, the values, the structure of the organization so that they can better adapt to new technologies, the markets, the challenges and the dizzying rate of the change itself. According to Parikh and Rao, organization change is a planned effort initiated by process specialists to help an organization develop its diagnostic skills, coping capabilities, and linkage strategies in the form of contemporary and semi-permanent system and a culture of mutuality. So it can be summarized from the definitions that we have discussed that organization development is a unique strategy to bring out planned change in an organization. It is interdisciplinary in nature and uses knowledge of other behavioral sciences like sociology, psychology, and etc. And the need with the help of the change agent uh, who is also known as consultant, an OD uh, expert or a facilitator. Now let us go down the lane of the history of organization development. The history of organization development is rich with the contribution of behavioral scientists and practitioners. Organizational development has evolved over the past 60 years from the you know applications of behavioral science knowledge and techniques to solve organizational problems. Kurt Lewin played a very vital and key role in evolution of organization development uh, and from him emerged the term of group dynamics. 
when we talk about group dynamics. This is a term that has been identified him and the action research which formed the uh, basic organizational development process. So Kurt Lewin experimented with a collaborative change process involving himself as a change agent or a facilitator and a client group based on three-step process that is first one is planning, the second one is taking action and then measuring result. So after Lewin's death in the year 1947, his close associates uh, you know, helped to develop this survey research method at the University of Michigan. So the term organization development is, we can say, also widely attributed to Robert Blake, Jane Morton, uh, then Herbert Shefford, as well as Richard Beckhardt. And also, organization development has emerged in the year about 1957 and is generally considered to have evolved from two basic sources, that is the application of laboratory method uh, by national training uh, laboratories, that is NTL, which is popularly known by this name, and which was also founded by Kurt Lewin himself, and the survey research method originated by the Survey Research Center. So both these methods are, you know, pioneered by Kurt Lewin in the year 1945. Now let us discuss about uh, the first method, that is the laboratory training method. So it is essentially unstructured small group situation in which participants learned from their own actions started in the year 1946 in which various experiments were used to bring change in behavior of participants. It started when Kurt Lewin uh, was asked for help in the research of community leaders. So the community leaders were called for a workshop. At the end of uh, each session, the researchers discussed the behaviors you know, they had observed. So thus the first T training method, T training group method was formed in which people you know, reacted to data about their own behavior. They discussed openly about their feelings, their concerns, their emotions in these sessions. So again, Douglas McGregor, who has propounded the theory X and theory Y, working with Richard Becker, uh, began applying laboratory training method to industry at General Meals in the year 1956 and at Union Carbide in 1957. So let us now discuss about growth of tea groups in India. It was Rolf Linton in 1957 who conducted initial tea groups in India. He established Aloka in uh, Mysore to develop the capacity of youth. He implemented leadership training for uh, 12 weeks. And in North India, Max Kohler, Dean of Teachers, uh, College Columbia University, and uh, he was also a member of NTL, National Training Laboratories, stayed in uh, Delhi from the year maybe uh, around uh, 1959 to 1962 as a consultant to the Ministry of Education. So he conducted these tea groups in his house and uh, Uday Parikh was one of the participants and Parikh visited USA in the year 1961 for six months and was trained by NTL. So after his return to India, the first full-scale laboratory training in India was implemented in the year 1962 in Firozpur. And what they did is that they started L groups uh, in uh, SCIT uh, at the same time, Indian Institute of Management, then I am Kolkata and invited, you know, some NTL uh, members as visiting professors and they implemented this laboratory trainings there. So, till now we have discussed about the growth of tea groups in uh, India. Now let us discuss about survey research and feedback. So, survey research and feedbacks is the second major, uh, you know, method or stem in the history of organizational development. It consists of activities that actually rely on questionnaire surveys mostly to generate information that is then used to identify problems, phase and opportunities available to an organization. So Renzi's Likert and Floyd Mann pioneered this method when they conducted an organizational wide survey in Detroit Edition uh, Corporation. They collected data, then reported back the data to the top management group and then down to the work teams. Now let us very briefly discuss about action research approach. So this term, ac action research, was first coined by Kurt Lewin again in the year 1944. And it, it is a collaborative uh, you know, process in which a change agent or a facilitator you know, and the client organization work together to gather data to diagnose organizational problems, to discuss the data, plan, action, and together access the results of their uh, action. 
so it is a technique to bring about organizational development and also action research is an approach to you know problem solving you know consisting of a series of activities and series of events and the field of organization development is still emerging we can say and a large number of behavioral scientists is working on it and od practitioners are also working on it are and are building on the previous researches that has been made now let us discuss some of the relevance of organization development for managers so an organization development process helps to strengthen the relationship between the managers and its subordinates as organizational development activities you know that involves sharing of feelings sharing of viewpoints uh, between the managers and the subordinates it helps the manager to examine whether their leadership style is effective in you know it is going in a proper implementation of change or not the process of organization development helps manager to identify areas where an organization need a change based on this information managers you know have to develop change management programs by outlining specific ways in which the change will you know improve the organization operations and also uh, that will affect by the change and how the change program can effectively introduce to the employees also the first step of organization development is diagnosis of organization problems and it is then followed by data collection then analysis and after that interpretation so it it gives a lot of information to the managers and then lastly a successful od program that is organization development program can lead to resolution of conflict between the you know between the groups you know and also for better uh, problem solving and a better communication uh, innovations you know improved work process better performance and productivity of the employees and ultimately that will help an organization to serve in its you know in this competitive world and increase its profitability with this we have come to the end of the first part of the video session of the unit organization development and in this unit we discuss about the concept of organization development its meaning also we discuss some of the definitions and also we have gone through the history of organization development and also we discuss some of the relevance of organization uh, development for the managers so thank you so much for watching this video we will be coming up with the next video very soon